Okay, so I'm going to show how to open up an HP ZBook 14U G4 for upgrade and keyboard uh, replacement. So first what you want to do is remove the little rubber caps. They'll, ha they'll be all around covering all the screws. Um, I just use a needle, but anything that you can use to kind of get in between the edges and then kind of pry it out. Um, so once you get all those rubber pieces out, remove all the screws. There's one here, two, three, four five, six, seven, underneath the SD card slot that you pull out like that, there'll be another one, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven screws total. Once you get all of those out, you just gotta pry in between the two layers. You can use a pry tool or your fingernails. So kind of just, if you can, get underneath. Um, it might be a little more difficult than that, but basically pry all around. Just go around like that, and then once you get it all pried out, you can lift the cover off easily. Okay. So you can see there's two slots for RAM. Uh, I believe this is DDR4. Let me see if I can get the exact type. This is um, PC4 DDR4 2400T. So that's the RAM. Okay. Let's see here in case you need model numbers. So here you can see there's the LCD connector here. There's this board connecting for, I believe that's the power button, the fan, you can see the heat sink, battery here. So there's some screws holding the battery in place. You can see the CMOS battery. There's a M.2 NVMe SSD right here. Um, then you can see all the USB ports, the wireless card, can see okay and antennas just like all the other ones to remove the antennas you pull up from the back and pop it up it'll pull the antenna off don't try and pull it out like this because you can break the connector then you can see there's a slot for a regular SATA hard drive you can put an SSD or a regular spinning drive if you want to add more storage or if you want a cheaper hard drive replacement than one of the those okay then they got a connector here for this separate board for the VGA and the USB port here. Okay, and to remove the keyboard, you have to remove two screws. There's one here and one here. Once you do that, you can flip the computer over, open it up. There will be some latches here. Let me shut this off. So there's some latches here. So to remove it, all you gotta do is get a little thin pry tool in the edges and kind of just pry up along the edges okay it helps if you have two hands because while you're prying it up you can actually hold the the bits of keyboard that you pried up with your fingers let's see if i can do this with one hand though okay so just go along Once you get under most of the clips, you can actually flex it a little bit. Oh, this one's not completely pried up. I need to pry that one. Okay. It's difficult to do with one hand. It. So once you get those pried up, kind of flex it a little bit and pull a little bit to the sides. Just like that. So you can get these out. Okay. And then there's three connectors, so be careful. Lift it carefully. You can see these connectors. So to remove these connectors, you flip these little latches up, just like that. And you can pull these connectors out, just like that. Okay. And there's one more here for the... Um, the little, what do you call it, the touchpad um, joystick thing. But basically you just remove all of those and then replace it with a new one. So here you can see on the bottom, underneath the keyboard, there's a little connector there for a fingerprint reader right there. And that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. 
And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. All right, bye.